Hello and welcome to another Two Minutes Tuesday technical training. Let's get started. Shown is a simple schematic of modern protein therapeutic production processes. Our focus today is optimizing cell culture. Many factors impact this, including dissolved oxygen, or DO, and carbon dioxide levels. An overview of sparging, aeration, and mixing methods that detail the entry of these gases into the bioreactor system can be reviewed in other Two Minute Tuesday videos. Oxygen is crucial for the cellular processes of respiration and cell division. However, CO2 is a waste byproduct of both of these reactions, and both DO and CO2 levels impact the pH of the media and product quality. Although increasing DO is important to maintain cell growth, controlling the upper limit of oxygen in cell culture is also important because reactive oxygen species can chemically degrade the protein of interest. This is why the operating range of dissolved oxygen typically falls within the 30 to 40 percent range. Likewise, dissolved CO2 levels rising above 20 percent will cause detrimental effects to cell growth and protein production. Therefore, a typical working range is between 5 and 10 percent dissolved CO2. Within the bioreactor, the level of DO and CO2 can be continually assessed with the use of monitoring probes. The industry standard DO probes utilize a polar graphic electrode to relay the dissolved oxygen concentration to the bioreactor controller. Other technologies, such as optical sensors that utilize fiber optics, are becoming increasingly available as well for monitoring DO. CO2 probes utilize pH probe technology by surrounding the pH probe with a bicarbonate solution that is separated from the media via a hydrophobic membrane. That membrane allows CO2 to diffuse across it and into the bicarbonate solution and relay the CO2 levels to the bioreactor controller. On a commercial production scale, CO2 is often measured using off-gas analysis. Routine calibration and regular cleaning and maintenance are necessary in order to preserve the functional integrity of these instruments. A recommended maintenance schedule can usually be ascertained from the probe's manufacturer. Thank you for listening. And for more information on this and other bioprocessing topics, including expert interviews, please go to our Two Minutes Tuesday archive. Have a great day.